Top 5 Biggest Tsunamis Caught on Camera Nature's been known to cause mayhem and destruction from time to time, and no one can stand in its way. Earthquakes, tornadoes, tsunamis, you name it and Mother Nature has it. All of these natural disasters have brought only death and despair to people, but they remain unsolvable. People just can't do anything to prevent or predict them. Imagine how many lives could be saved if someone could invent a machine that predicts these natural disasters. Some of these types of machines do exist, but they're average at best. They do a poor job at predicting or preventing natural disasters, and America, Japan, Indonesia, China, and India are the countries where tsunamis, hurricanes, and tornadoes are an annual event. And people can do anything but stand and observe in awe at the might of Mother Nature. So today, here are the top 5 biggest tsunamis caught on camera. Let's start! Number 5. Sulawesi, Indonesia How sad is it when you see your neighbors dying by the hundreds and you can't do anything to help them? You feel weak and powerless. You shout at the top of your lungs, but to no avail. It's too late. You see the huge wave crash into the house, knocking everything in its path. That's what happened to the man in this video due to the Sulawesi earthquake in Indonesia. The tsunami was located in the city of Sulawesi, with an epicenter in the mountainous Dongala Regency. To make matters worse, the tsunami was coupled with a 7.5 magnitude earthquake only 43 miles away from the provincial capital, Palu. It was caused by the tectonic movement of the Australian, Pacific, Philippine, and Sunda plates, so four in total. The earthquake was even felt in Malaysia. The tsunami struck houses and other buildings on the shore, causing mayhem along the shoreline. The number of people that passed away in the tsunami is estimated around 4,340. This number makes the Sulawesi tsunami one of the deadliest in Indonesian history. The earthquake caused the waves to reach an average height of 20 feet. 70,000 homes were no more as a result of this natural disaster, and it forced tens of thousands of people to live in tents and shelters. In the aftermath, soil liquefaction was one of the symptoms of the tsunami, and it caused a vast number of buildings to get submerged in the mudflows. The liquefaction only increased the number of dead. Adding salt to the wound, the 9,718 hectares of land that were hit by the tsunami are left barren and fruitless. This will cost the government an additional 36 billion rupiah. If you think our first pick is interesting but very sad, please give the video a thumbs up. We appreciate it, and it helps us tell more important stories like these. Number 4. Boxing Day Tsunami, Indonesia, December 26, 2004 Waves and waves of rubble drifting with great velocity on top of the water, carried like plastic bottles, could be seen in Indonesia in 2004. People screaming and crying, holding on for dear life and looking around to see if they could find their lost relatives. That's what news outlets around the world showed to audiences on December 26, 2004, featuring the Boxing Day Tsunami. The citizens of Sumatra were still asleep when the earthquake hit, followed by a massive tsunami that ravaged the country for hours to come. The earthquake was caused by a rupture between Burma and the Indian Plate, which resulted in a 9.1 to 9.3 magnitude earthquake and caused the planet to vibrate to almost 10 millimeters, 0.4 inches, the entire planet. The number of countries affected by the earthquake was 14, and there were around 227,898 casualties and thousands of others that simply went missing during the tsunamis. If you're wondering about the height of the waves, they reached around 100 feet tall. That's around half the height of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. If you see the seismic map of the earthquake on Wikipedia, you can see the waves were so big that they managed to reach the shores of East Africa. The energy that was released from the earthquake was 1.1 times 10 to the 17th power joules, which is the equivalent of blowing up 1,500 Hiroshima atomic bombs in one place at the same time. Kaboom! Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Thailand, India, 
they all felt the might of this devastating tsunami, with lots of casualties on every side. Our number one pick features the fourth most powerful earthquake in the world. Stay tuned. Number three, Solomon Island Tsunami, April 2nd, 2007. In the morning, at exactly 7.39 a.m., the Solomon Islands got hit by a magnitude 8 earthquake, which caused a tsunami to rise above and destroy the coastal line, taking with it the lives of 52 people, along with six others who were reported missing. The earthquake was so severe that even the aftershocks had a magnitude of 6.2. Again, four tectonic plates and their movement caused the Solomon Islands earthquake, specifically the Australia, Woodlark, and Solomon Sea plates, converging against the Pacific Plate. Although the Solomon Islands have been known for their frequent earthquakes, rarely do they experience one of such magnitude. The Simbo Islands suffered the biggest blows from waves topping a stifling 40 feet. They even managed to wipe out two villages, Taparai and Rikuru. Around 900 homes were destroyed in the midst of the chaos. The waves managed to reach Papua New Guinea, and the Sydney shoreline had been warned of potential risks. Disease outbreaks had also been reported by aid workers. The damages are estimated to cost a couple of millions of dollars, and Australia and New Zealand managed to offer financial aid in the range of 14 million Australian New Zealand dollars. Number 2. Chile, February 22, 2010 It was a dark Saturday for Chilean citizens living on the Maui coast. Just like the victims in the Boxing Day tsunami, the people who lost their lives in the Chilean tsunami and earthquake didn't see the morning sun. At around 3.34 a.m., they were woken up by intense shaking that lasted four minutes. The earthquake had a magnitude of around 8.8 .8 due to the Nazca plate subducting beneath the South American plate near the Peru-Chile trench. Concepcion, Chile's second most populated city, was only 70 miles away, where aftershocks could be felt. The tsunami waves that occurred due to the earthquake devastated 500 kilometers of coastal land, including the cities of Valparaiso, Valdivia, and many more. Debris, ships on highways, buildings torn in half, you could see it all. Waves with a height of 45 feet. Tsunami warnings were announced in 53 countries, and the coastline of California and Japan were hit by smaller waves caused by the earthquake. Fisheries along the sea line took a big hit, with an estimated damage of $66.7 million. The massive earthquake was even felt in the capital city, Santiago. This is the sixth largest earthquake in the world ever recorded by seismograph, and one that Chile hasn't experienced in the last 50 years. 525 people lost their lives in Chile, 25 went missing, and around 9% of the regional population lost their homes. The estimated insurance cost would be around $5.5 billion, and the estimates were confirmed by another German company. The disaster cost the government between $15 to $30 billion. Number 1. Tohoku, Japan. March 11, 2011. Named the deadliest earthquake in the world, Tohoku shook Japan to its core and almost brought an entire nation to its knees. The earthquake happened at 2.46 p.m., so most of the Japanese citizens were at work. In the beginning, they thought it was just a small earthquake and nothing to worry about. But when they saw that after 30 minutes, the shaking hadn't stopped, and it continued for around 4 minutes more, people ran like crazy, trying to escape certain death. The epicenter was around 43 miles away from the Oshika Peninsula and Tohoku. The hypocenter, however, happened in the deep belly of the ocean, 18 miles beneath the surface. And, of course, the earthquake triggered 133-foot-high tsunami waves. That's one-fourth of the Washington Monument traveling at speeds of 435 miles per hour and destroying everything in its path. The citizens had about only eight minutes of warning to prepare, but that wasn't nearly enough time to escape the grasp of death. This is the most powerful earthquake ever recorded in the history of Japan, and the fourth most powerful in the world, with a magnitude of 9.0 to 9.1. It was so powerful that it moved the earth from its axis by 10 inches. 
the Great Destruction ended with 15,899 casualties, 6,157 injured, and 2,529 people missing. Not to mention that the nuclear plant Fukushima experienced a level 7 meltdown, which caused hundreds of thousands of residents to evacuate the city. That's our list today, folks. Do you know what's the world's most powerful earthquake that caused a tsunami? If you do, let us know in the comments section below. We're very curious to hear what you have to say.